Hey, what's up? Adrian here with bestformyfeet.com. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to review the Irish Setter Wing Shooter Work Boots. These are the Composite Toe 6 inch Mock Toe Wet Sole Work Boots. There's another version of this boot that comes with a heel in case you're working outdoors and you need more traction, more support. Also, there's a soft toe uh, version of the boot and if you have weak ankles or if you simply like the extra support for your ankles, this boot comes in a 8 inch version as well. Although Adam says that the 6 inch version of the boot provides quite good ankle support. And by the way, Adam is one of the testers and one of the collaborators of bestformyfeet.com and he's the person that's gonna wear these boots for his day uh, job and also is gonna provide uh, information about his experience wearing these boots. So in this video, we're gonna uh, talk a, a little bit about some of the points that Adam makes in his review. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description to a very in-depth blog post that Adam wrote about these boots uh, in case I don't answer some of the questions that you might have uh, in this video. Alright, first let's talk about the environment the boots are going to be tested in because it's a very important uh, topic, it's a very important detail when it comes for you to decide whether these boots are going to be good for you or not. So Adam is in the welding and metal sheet fabrication business, he's on his foot all day, uh, he's walking and standing on hard concrete floors, uh, he's mostly working indoors in a dry environment with the occasional uh, on-site visit. So the boots are not going to be exposed to the elements that much, but they are going to be exposed to sparks from grinding, from welding, and also uh, loads of sharp objects around the shop floor. Great stuff. Now let's talk about some of the features of these Irish Setter Wing Shooter work boots. And the first one I want to mention is the uh, gusseted tongue. It's not necessarily helpful for Adam because this is a, a great feature to have when you work outdoors uh, because it, keep, um, it keeps uh, the dirt and debris and things like that out of your boots. But also I've seen many people in the uh, subreddit um, talking about how to fix uh, the problem they have with their tongue because it's moving with a boot tongue because it's moving from left to right and all that uh, becoming very annoying during the shift. Well, Adam is not going to have this problem with uh, this tongue because it's gusseted. So it's a, it's a good feature to have nevertheless. This is a Goodyear welted boot and what that means amongst other things is that it's easy to resole. And I was really surprised to see that this boot actually comes with a leather welt. A boot in this price range usually comes with TPU or some kind of rubber plasticky material. And this uh, TPU or any type of material like this tends to crack and split faster than leather. Kind of like uh, you see here uh, on one of the other boots that my colleague is testing. Actually, we just updated the post um, on six months wearing the Timberland Pro Boondocks. And the, the um, TPU welt, Goodyear welt is starting to crack. I liked this detail of the leather welt on these boots. All right, moving on, let's talk a little bit about the safety toe cap on this boot. This is a composite toe cap boot. As I said, there's another version of a, uh, with a soft toe box. Uh, but this one, it's not uncomfortable. I know some people say that uh, steel toe cap boots are uncomfortable. Adam says that there's a lot of space or at least there's, another, uh, there's enough wiggle room in the boots. Uh, the toe cap doesn't rub against the, uh, his toes or anything like that. So it's quite comfortable in that sense. One question I know some people like to ask is whether the boot has a lining or it's an, uh, un, uh, it's an unlined boot. Uh, so it's just the leather, right? Well, this boot, this particular model comes with a lining. So it's a moisture wicking lining. Adam was very happy with this uh, because of the padding as well that comes in the walls of the boot. It makes this boot so comfortable right out of the box. All right, let's talk a little bit about the outsole as well, which is one of the best features of this boot. Um, 
as I said at the beginning, this is a wedge sole work boot. And if you work in an environment like Adam, where the floor is flat, it's hard, uh, maybe you work in, in a welding shop as well, maybe you work uh, in retail, maybe you work in a warehouse, whatever you do where the, f the surface you stand on, where you walk on all day long, it's hard and it's flat, then this type of uh, wedge boot is excellent. And especially because this one, for example, this boot has a, an EVA midsole, uh, which is kind of like it's it's a rubber material as well, but it's more spongy. Uh, it has lower density than other uh, other rubber. So why is this helpful? Well, because this type of material absorbs the shocks when uh, every time you take a step, right? Uh, the the body contacting the floor, uh, it creates some uh, a shock, right? Well, this midsole absorbs that shock, and then uh, this is gonna be less. Uh, impactful for your ankles, for your knees, for your back. Reducing this way the chances of having back pain or knee pain or any pain related to standing and walking for long hours on hard concrete or any other type of hard surfaces. Do they need any breaking in? No, actually these boots are very comfortable straight out of the box. Uh, they don't need any breaking in because the leather is quite soft. So Adam didn't have any issues wearing these boots for the first day, for the whole shift, no problem whatsoever. We'll see if the padding around the ankle will cause any blisters, as we've seen uh, with Donnie testing the Timberland Boondog boots, uh, where the thick padding uh, was rubbing against uh, the back of his leg, causing a little bit of discomfort there. But for now, after almost two months, uh, at the time I'm making this video, there are no signs of blisters or discomfort whatsoever. We'll let you know if anything happens in the meantime by updating the blog post. Some of you would like to know where the boots are made and this particular model, according to the label of the boot, it's made in Vietnam. Even though Adam doesn't need waterproof work boots because he works mostly indoors, he did test the boots for those of you that do need waterproof work boots and uh, in his area is dry at the moment in Florida so he had to fill up a water pan and he stepped with each boot for about two minutes and the results came as expected the boots inside are completely dry and the waterproof membrane does the job what about the weight of the boots are they lightweight are they heavy uh, well let me tell you that according to Adam these are one of the most lightweight uh, work boots he ever had. So if you're after lightweight work boots with wedge sole, with waterproof membrane, then these are for you. One common question when people buy work boots, especially when you buy online, is should you go one size up, should you go down half size, what should you do, how do they fit, right? Well, according to Adam, these boots fit like a glove. He wears 11.5D in his... Um, athletic shoes in his Reebok Nanos and he ordered the boots with the same size 11 and D. In conclusion Adam is very happy with the work boots for now. He's been wearing these boots for almost two months at the time I'm making this review. Make sure to check out the blog post every now and, every now and then since Adam is going to give us updates periodically on how the boots uh, are holding up and all that good stuff. And if you want my recommendation uh, when it comes to who these boots are good for, I would say these boots are great for those of you that work in the trades. Uh, I'm in the construction as well. Uh, so uh, for those of you that work mostly indoors, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, framers, uh, people doing drywall, uh, whatever, uh, if you guys work indoors and you need a safety toe cap boot, a lightweight boot uh, with a wedge sole, this is a great uh, choice. Also, if you work in a warehouse, in retail, uh, and any anywhere that you work mostly indoors and on hard surfaces. I don't recommend it that much if you work uh, outdoors or in mixed uh, environments, for example, uh, I, I'm in the constructions as I said as well and this last Friday we had a little bit of rain, we had a little bit of concrete, there was some mud uh, going on as well and I'm wearing the Avenger A7505 which is a wedge sole war boot uh, and I find myself almost, I, I almost fell like five to seven times uh, within two hours because 
it gets too slippery. So if that's your case as well, I don't recommend them. Uh, maybe go with the with the the version that comes with a heel. It's gonna uh, give you more traction, more stability in this type of environments. That's all from me for today. I hope this review of the Irish Setter Wing Shooter Work Boots was helpful to you in any way. Special thanks to Adam for taking the time to make these clips for us and write the blog post uh, and bringing us all this information about these boots. Uh, if you have any comments about or any comments or any questions about these boots, please uh, leave us a comment and uh, myself or Adam, uh, we're going to do our best to answer your question uh, as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'm Adrian from bestformyfeed.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye.